Greetings, loyal viewers. This is Bill Hansen again, and today I want to talk about wedding cakes. Yes, wedding cakes. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly with regards to wedding cakes. I've seen them get tipped over in the back of a van. I've seen them collapse once they're at the event site. And I've even seen couples who forgot to order one, and uh, I had to jump in and order one at the last minute. Thank you, Anna Paz, by the way. So how much should you spend on a wedding cake? Generally between three and eight dollars a slice, depending upon how elegant you want the cake to be, but three dollars per guest, so if you're having 100 guests, about three, $300. There's tons and tons of variety that you can get with all different types of flavors, and Bakers are all over every metropolitan area and every town. You can always find a baker that will do a great job for you. If you order your own wedding cake, and particularly in hotels, I don't do this because I think it's nickel-diming people, but if you go into a hotel, sometimes if you don't order the cake from them, they're going to charge you a cake-cutting fee, which I think is absolutely ridiculous because that's to make up for their profit that they would have made off your wedding cake. If I was doing that, if I was getting married again, and I've been married more times than I can count, but I have been married now for 37 years. I finally got it right. But the bottom line is, is you can negotiate that cake cutting fee. I would tell the hotel in nice terms, listen, you know, this doesn't make sense. So you can negotiate it. Let's talk about the size of the wedding cake. If you're going to be in a huge, huge ballroom, a uh, tiny little cake is going to look terrible. So you're going to need to consider the size of the room, and also you need to consider the height of the room. So tall rooms mean tall cakes. Be bold when it comes to flavors. Come up with something different. Don't just go for the usual uh, buttercream with vanilla fill filling or lemon filling. My mom used to make a great uh, lemon cake. It was great, but come up with something different. Down here in South Florida, there's mango and passion fruit, and you know that we can come up with great flavors for you. The big decision is buttercream or fondant. For flavor, I love the buttercream. That's my favorite. That's what my mom used to make and buttercream for taste is wonderful. However, if you're going to be outside in hot weather, the fondant is probably a, a better choice for you. It's more smooth in, in appearance. It's not nearly as sweet, and it looks great in your photogra ph photographs. Also, fondant holds up better if you're outside. One thing that many, many couples overlook is the lighting on the wedding cake. It's very important to have the cake lit so people can actually see it. Sometimes caterers make the same mistake where they put out these beautiful food displays and then you can't see it because it's outside and it's after dark. What about the topper on the cake? I love the idea of a family heirloom. You know, maybe something from your grandparents or your great-grandparents as a cake topper right on the top of the cake to bring the memories of those past weddings that you have enjoyed and your relatives have enjoyed. Now, how can you save money? Here's a few tips. Number one, order a very small wedding cake and then back it up with sheet cake. Sheet cake is a lot simpler, and so you have the small cake, like one this high, you go through the ceremony, you do the cutting, and then in the back in the kitchen, they bring out the uh, pieces of cake from, cut from a sheet. sheet. Uh, tears are more expensive, handmade flowers. I used to make these when I worked in the Burdines Bakery. I used to, we used to have nails on a bottle cap like this, and then we'd use the pastry tube and go like this to make the flowers. Those are time consuming and they're very, very, very expensive. A great way to save money is use seasonal flowers. But here's another tip. Don't ask your cake baker to provide the flowers. 
talk to your florist about that. Let them come in with some beautiful flowers that match everything else that you have at your wedding. And one thing that I really love in closing is you can save money on the wedding cake by having a small cake and then surrounding it with bite-sized desserts, you know, little uh, cups filled with mousse or with ganache or key lime tarts or little things, pecan squares, things like that, because that gives your guests a variety and those, those items are generally much less expensive than, than a, a regular uh, wedding cake. So that's my tip for today. It's another day in paradise down here in South Florida. Thank you for tuning in. Any questions, give me a call, 305-338-1897, or email me at bill at billhansoncatering.com. Take care. God bless you.